Hello again. This is the Water Man <clears throat> Spiritual Toolbox number 33, the Love Chapter number 9, audio recording number 351, examination table number 14. Okay, remember, examination table was from that, not may prove, but it's from that word, 20 Greek word translated like that. It's, um, means to examine it, to test it, to approve it. Check it out. Lay it out there on the examination table. That's just an examination table. And check it out. Look at it. Study it. Show yourself approved. Right? Man, just look at it. Don't be afraid of that stuff. God has not given you an attitude or a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Okay. <laughs> Alarm's going off. My wife's going to get it. Okay. All right, now let's see. <clears throat> We're continuing in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. That's the love chapter. Okay, we're breaking this down. I'm going to start out again reading it from the King James Version or the King James translation of this. Okay, now <clears throat> verse 2 says, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could move, remove mountains, have not and and have not charity, I am nothing. Okay, now let's go down. I've covered, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand and all, I covered that. That's pos. Okay, now mysteries. I started into it last time, but not nearly enough. It's Mysterion, okay? Let's get right back at it. <clears throat> Pick up there, okay? Mysterion, it's from the number, the word they translate as mysteries in the King James Version comes from the Strong's Exhaustive, Exhaustive Concordance number, 3466, and it's spelled M-Y-S-T-E-R-I-O-N, and it's this word. Strong, <coughs> 3466, Mustadion, 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 okay, now, uh, ready, and, okay, it's a neuter noun. The etymology or the root word where this is coming from. Remember, chase it all the way back. Go beyond your actions. Go beyond the the biochemicals and everything coming down through your body. Telling you telling uh, giving orders from your brain. Go beyond your brain. Or beyond the heart that's pump, blood pump. Go beyond that understanding of that. Go beyond all that stuff. Back to the mind of Christ. Back, back into the into the thought processes. Check this thing out. Let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> Go beyond that. What is it? Uh, I think it's Macedonia. Is the uh, um, means uh, the ones from beyond. Let's go beyond that fleshly thinking stuff. Let's expose that old alpha dog, that bitch nature in you, that barking, yapping mutt inside you in your thinking process. It's trying to be a uh, an imposter of light, Satanus, or a false accuser accusing you. You dirty, rotten sinner. You dirty person. You nasty critter. Yeah, 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 bark, bark, it's he hole on the donkey. Just shut that up. Get it away, right? Like it says in Isaiah 19, verses 19 through 22. Ew, yuck. Just get that stuff away. Get it out. Get out. Beat it, you old mutt. Right? Put a muzzle on that thing, man. We'll take out this toolbox. I'm showing you. It'll be like a duct tape, man. Put a sock in that thing now and duct tape and, okay? All right. All right, shut up, you old dog. All right. Now, this Mysterium. 
Okay, it's a neuter noun. The etymology of that, the root word, going way back there, going beyond that fleshly thinking. Going back into the mind of God. Just like in hot pursuit, you're coming from out of that stinking, fleshly thinking. Right? Going to, towards, and into the right mindedness of God. And then you're going in God, resting in God. Your I in. And you're resting secure in God. And you're in union with God. God's holding you. You're in like God's sheep pen. And you went through the right gate. The correct gate. You're not a thief and a robber. Like in uh, John chapter 10. Read verses 1 through verse 10. You're not a thief and a robber. You're going in through the Christ. In control of your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Not that old robber, not that ego thinking that tries to manipulate any other way than God. Trying to do it by its might, its power, your own might and power, because that's your own ego thinking. And it's trying to put it out there like it's some devil on, in a, or some Satan. Or somebody else's fault. Point the finger, get the blame off. Don't look at that thing inside your brain. mind. Just polished outside the cup and, and you're a good guy. Or you're a bad guy. You're, you know, all this stuff is good and bad. Sign language, remember? Pose with a negro. Pose with a negro. God is flatlining it. Right in the middle. Okay? Now, this um, this root word, um, the etymology of mysterion, come, is derived from M U O, and that's to shut the mouth, to shut the mouth of that old lion dog inside you. That thing's not the alpha. It's not the true alpha and omega. It's not God. It's alpha beast nature. Alpha dog. Ooh, yuck. It's just, ooh, yuck. I always wondered why I just despised it when I heard that. It's just like, ugh. Like uh, when somebody does a screechy thing on the chalkboard, it kind of done that to me. I said, ooh, yuck. I don't want to be that. Yuck. Well, the understanding's coming. I'm showing it to you. And it comes through these storms of life, writing that really hard stuff. God's busting up all this concrete thinking in you. However, it's got to be jackhammer or something and asking, you, shall we probably chop this board? Shall we dynamite this stuff? Shall we jackhammer? Keep on going. You got to be in hot pursuit and say, yes, sir, daddy, let's get it. Exist right back into the self existing one and keep on keeping on. Don't wimp out. If there's any weak link in that, coming out of that stuff, it's the me, myself, and I. It's your own stinking thinking. It's your own righteousness. It's not God's righteousness. God is faithful. <clears throat> he's trustworthy. He's, he's the all-powerful, almighty God. He's the supreme divinity. He can't fail you. He won't fail you. He loves you more than more than words can even say. <coughs> <It's what? coughs> now, so you gotta shut that thing's mouth, okay? Now this mysterion. Let's go right down here and look at this thing. Now on the Online biblical usage on this. <clears throat> it says hidden thing, secret, or mystery. Okay? If you go on down here, in this, it says of God. When you talk about from, uh, of God, okay? It's saying uh, a hidden purpose or counsel, the secret, secret will, the desire of God. You know that's love. Beyond words, okay? Now let's, let's go right down here to part B of that. And this is just a one-line thing, okay? Probably about a paragraph or something. A little 
ain't real long, but it's the of God is speaking. The secret counsels which govern God in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men. Those thought processes for that alpha dog inside you. Take care of your own backyard. Get the log, the beam out of your own eye. Then you can see clearly to help somebody else get the splinter out of their own eye. Quit pointing the finger out there. Get your mind right. Right? All right. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men. That anthropos thinking, okay? But plain to the godly righteousness of God. The ones really seeking in hot pursuit. That did an about, that's doing an about face from that old dog in their mind and pursuing God in hot pursuit, right back into the right mindedness of God. You know, from out of, to, in, and, uh, to, towards, and into ice. Okay, I think it's pros and ice both right there. And then in, resting in God, in, I in. Okay, and then S Y N, in union with God. Coming right back home, baby. You're returning home to God in God's right mindedness. Where God can make is making his appearing in you as an overcomer when you do this. And every little like little ball of your thinking process, if you will. Every little area of your thinking process. God is working internally in you, in your mind, in your thought processes. To bring you back to the right mindedness of God, the righteousness of God. Okay? Thus it's saying, seek ye first, in time, place, and order of importance, the kingdom of God and the right the, the ruling realm of God in your mind. And this right to rule in that ruling realm of God. He's increasing you from thought process to thought process, right back into the ability to love him as he first as God loves us. Beyond words. Okay, can you see it? And see here, taste, touch, or smell, but God is with Christ in control. Get, kick that daggone ego thing out. Because you can't do it yourself. It's not by your might nor your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. He's offering you an opportunity. Okay, in the fiery trials, in the lion's den, going up against Goliath. Take that big old eye, that ego out of there. Out of each one of those think processes. He's chopping out. Hiya! Try to chopping that old stinking thinking out and transforming that little area that was taken. Transforming that in back into the right mindedness of God by burning up that garbage thinking and then refining out the golden nature, character and authority of God. So that you can live, you can walk. You can have your existence. You can exist in the right mindedness of God right back into, from out of, to, towards, into, and in. Resting in God and being in union with God in that one thinking process. It does it over and over and over and over. How many ways can you think in your mind? A myriad of ways, an innumerable number of ways. Okay? <coughs> All right. Now. Um, see, all those other ways, like in John 10, 10, John, uh, John chapter 10, verse 1 through 10. You read that yourself. Look at it. Okay? Know that all those words in the King James are not translated correctly, are not, are very incomplete. These are describing pictures. Okay? Now, in, in all that old other ways of trying to do it, all this manipulation and stuff for that old alpha dog is yuck thinking. It's trying to enter that through that gate back into God's sheep pen, back into that nucleus of that atom, back into God, drawing near to God and into him on the end. And in union with him, you can't do it any other way but agreeing hotly in hot pursuit. With God's organ, organ thumos, his intense passion and his desire 
Bam. You got to be in the exact image of God. You got to go, man. Practice it. Hex. Rah, rah. Go right into it. Kick that daggone um, alpha dog out of your mind. Get your mind right. Get out of here, you stupid mutt. All right? Smash that old ungodly thinking process's head against the rock, against Christ. Get rid of that thing. Harder to do when you let that thing grow up and be rawr, rawr, big like le legions, 4,000 to 6,400 monster thought process. Rawr, and then it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. And you can get all the way down to the lowest depths, the Haiti, that shit's thinking. Remember the two compound words? If you don't remember it, go back and listen to, to the recording, okay? On the five word or the four words translated as hell, okay? Now, it's that shit's thinking with that S H with your old ego in control, T T S. It's the low tar tar oh tar tar uh oh it's the lowest reaches of that. It's like dried out, hardened bull crap thinking. It's harder and worse than tar and, and rubberized concrete. Man, you can't take no regular humanistic your ego thinking and bust that out. You're just defeating yourself. Boing boing. That, that sledgehammer is busting you all over your body. Ooh, you're in trouble. It's going to be a harder walk out of that thing for sure. You know, you're, you'd be, you'd probably be believing, oh, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. My orderly rings in my mind is just all kinds of messed up. Well, <laughs> you fed that dog. Hey, man, he grew up to be a monster, didn't he? And each and every area of your thinking processes. And it's just like a cancer. It grows and infects other areas of your thinking. Pretty soon, man, you're just a plumb crazy person. Drive your plumb, foaming at the mouth, mad. <laughs> this mental health will drive you mad. Allow me to. Stop banging my head. Ba -ba -ba right? Stop walking around like I'm dead. Come to life. See, so coming right back into God. Don't go back there like, rah, rah, walking around like you're a big old carnal dog, alpha dog. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> That's silly. Child of God, right? Turn around. Don't go that way. Ooh, ooh, yuck. Absolute, absolutely prohibited for any of that other junk to go through that eye of the needle back into the right mindedness of God. That's got to be, that's gone. It's gone like a freight train. Gone like a freight train. Gone like yesterday. Gone like a soldier in the Civil War. Bang, bang. Right? It's gone. Let's get out of here. Get it out. Get it out of your mind, right? All right. <laughs> Carrying around there, but it's like, whoa, whoa. man, I got really kind of, you know, but it kind of make it uh, stand out so you remember that. All right, hopefully. <coughs> I might have to think about that, okay? <coughs> now, um, let's see here. Uh, all right, I read that in there on the Mysterion from the online Bible usage, biblical usage, and in the Strong's just saying to shut the mouth, shut that old dog think of that, and see here, listen, see here, taste, touch, and smell, Christ in control, be in hot pursuit of that, shut that old stinking ego dog up. Let God take it out. Hold on to him tight. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Not eat that crap and see that that thing is so awful. And listen to that old alpha dog say, man, that's good stuff, ain't it? That old big poop hot dog. I mean, that big hot dog right there is great for you. And here, drink this milkshake, too. Hog slop in that thing. Pee and poop and mud and ugh. Just, oh, man, it's so sickening. 
eat that stuff. Oh, man, it's just, oh, kinds of nasty. <laughs> you think maybe, oh, I feel good, but it ain't gonna last. We'll make you sicker than a dog, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's see, um, I got a little notes here. One only receives the true light, the understanding of God and his love, of God's ways and his love that's beyond words. Truly understand that, not with just saying, oh, yeah, I got it. I understand it. No, you don't. Whenever you've done all, all, studied all this stuff, and then God's brought you through it. And you're choosing him, and you're pursuing your existing, back into the self-existing one. You're getting it more and more and more. You're understanding it more and more and more. That's how I do. You're learning more and more and more with God in control. You're increasing from one to four to uh, one to two to four to eight. You're understanding in this area, in this one thought process. You're coming from out of that stuff and going to and towards and into and en and syn. It's a progressive thing. It's not just a zip zap zinga stick it in the microwave for thirty seconds and warm it up, and then I'll turn right back to my own stinking thinking. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. See, you gotta agree with God and stay exist. Right in, agree right back into him. Okay? Now, all that other ways, again, I said it. You go look at it yourself. It's a ooh yuck in John chapter 10. Read verse 1 through 10, okay? Uh, um, there's a whole lot in that. But that's all thieves and robbers. It's not going through the gate through Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Jesus is Jesus, I-S-O-U-S. Means Yahweh. Not Jehovah and Jehovah. You got to go back beyond that. Back beyond that. From beyond. The ones from beyond. Okay? In your understanding. In this. In the thought process. God's getting down in there. He's digging that. His golden nature. Out of your earthly thinking. Your fleshly thinking. And then he's refining, taking and bulling out those impure metals that's in that golden ore. Those impurities that you didn't even know about. You thought, well, I'm done. No, 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 no. God's bulling them up to the top. And they're ugly. They're nasty. They're not. God. They're not pure gold. They're not God's righteousness. Don't be condemned by that, that God... Yes, let's try to chop them out. Let's skin those off. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. I'm coming back to life. Boom. Right. All right. Now. Um, let's see here. Um, in the Thayer's Greek lexicon. It's mysterion, okay? It's a hidden thing or a secret thing. The word of God, the thought processes of God. It's hidden to that old beast nature, that ego. It's absolutely prohibited for that thing to hear. To see, hear, taste, touch, or smell with that old ego, that big eye in the way, that's shit, stinking. That's diarrhea. God said, nope. You can't come in there not by that thing's might or that thing's power or your own right-mindedness or eating from that fruit from the tree of knowledge of good, good and evil. Ooh, yuck. The day you eat of that, you'll surely die. God's saying this. You'll fall away. Okay? You got to come back and do it about face from that thing. Come back in. Eat from the tree of life. Come right back in to God. All oh, full bore, no holds barred, intense passion and desire, that organ thumos of God. Whoa, right back into him. Okay? This it also says of this secret thing, it's not obvious to the understanding of this this uh, old thing. And it doesn't come in by just doing a zip zap single and it's just one time. Or even two, it's increasing steadily. 
1 to 2 to 4 to 8, 16. 32, 64, 128. Right? Like in that little ball. They're taking like a bunch of little bitty pieces of that ball. One to two to four. He's digging it out. He's cleaning it up. So you got to persevere through this stuff. Don't be afraid. God's not giving you a spirit of fear. An attitude of fear. If you're in the lion's den. Or you're in this fire trials. Or you're in on this ship. You're humanistic thinking. Be afraid like those disciples. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. What was Jesus doing? He's resting in. I am. And in union with. S-Y-N. God. Oh, that's the pattern, son. Hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> down in here also, in the Thayers, concerning this Mysterion, it's... <coughs> <coughs> Just a second. <coughs> it's a hidden purpose, purpose for counsel, which you already said. It's God counsel. Not that old alpha dog. Kick his butt, kick that thing's butt to the curb. Your own ego. It tries to edge God out. It tries to, you know. The Satanists or, or Diabolos, the false acute or that adversary that poses as a messenger of light of God's understanding, it's wrong, it's a liar, that's like a good, okay? And poses as a, a false accuser, bad, knowledge of good and evil, good and bad. Don't partake, don't eat from that thing on the day that you eat thereof. You shall surely die. You'll be separated from God. You'll fall away. One, two, to four, to eight, right? All right. <clears throat> now, it's uh, a hidden purpose or counsel, a secret will. It's hidden by God to one's own ego thinking. Ego, it's in God out. Uh, acrostic, right? Uh, the might and power of one's own self will the I cannot understand or be enlightened to God's light or truth. Got the understanding that God loves us beyond words. Oh no, but he's gonna throw you in hell. Now we don't know those those words for hell. If you didn't get it, you better go back and look. Examination table time. Because if not, you're just hanging on. You're, you're a pillar of salt. You're hanging right on to that old stinking thinking. Maybe God won't permit you to go on. I don't know. I can lead you to water, but you can't make you drink. Lead you to the right mindedness of God on this thinking. But then you got to work out the, your own solace, your own deliverance from this stinking thinking, this alpha dog inside you. Not in fear of trembling, but reverence, honor, swimming, basking, living, existing. In God's right mindedness, in hot pursuit, this intense passion and desire coming right back in, all the way in and in union with God from all of this old stinking stuff in your thinking. Okay? <clears throat> now, uh, let's go read this. Uh, I'm just going to have to do it pretty quick, probably. Um, <clears throat> uh, Hebrews chapter 6. I'm going to read this out of, the new, out of the New King James, okay? Just verses, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do just verses 1 through 8. Lightly comment, commentated on or, or, you know, trying to show you some interpreted. Uh, and see, the, and think of this, remember, it's a mystery to the ones disagreeing with God's righteousness. In the middle of those storms. And it's if, if God permit. Not one's own righteousness. Own right mindedness. Thinking. Oh that old filthy stinking rags. Doesn't. Doesn't cut the mustard does it. Okay. <coughs> now. Hebrews chapter 6. 
verse 1. We're going to read it out of the New King James Version of the Bible, okay? It says, <clears throat> Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. The doctrine of baptisms, that's water baptism, and uh, of laying on of hands, okay, that water baptism is based upon your own dedication to God. It's just a one-time thing. No, no, no. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. When God's doing the baptism. You've got to respond, yes or no. Agree or disagree, right? Okay. All right. Trying not try maybe get these verses in there. I'm getting real close. The doctrine of the baptism, of laying on of hands, of resurrection of dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good work of God and the powers of the age to come, if they fall away to renew their, uh, them again to repentance, since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put him to open shame. For the earth which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it and bears herbs used useful for those by whom it is 